What's up guys, Travis Reeder. This is my brand new 2021 Link ECU GT Radial E46 M3 that we are debuting for FD. Uh, it's third round at Jersey, and uh, I'm gonna give you guys a quick walkthrough. The power plant and drivetrain is pretty much exactly the same as my S13 was. Uh, the motor's just built out a little bigger. So it's a 440 cubic inch uh, Thompson Motorsports LS. Uh, 14 and a half to one compression. We got the big Frankenstein heads and then a bunch of spray. So uh, it's roughly 830 foot pounds of torque at 3,700. So the thing pulls like a freight train and uh, super pumped on it. Runs great. So on this car, we went with uh, SLR steering kit. Um, the kit's super rad, chromoly lower arms, uh, build adapter plate bolts to any 3060, 46 knuckle. It's super rad kit, super modular. 70 degrees of steering angle if you need it. Tons of Ackerman adjustment. Fortunato dreadnoughts on the car. Yeah, so basically same motor set as the S13. Uh, try to keep it reliable and simple just like the S13 was. Uh, just basically in a different, newer, better chassis. This car has pretty much factory body work. We like to keep the urethane so I don't have to fix fiberglass because I'm not a fan of fiberglass anymore. <laughs> um, so it's uh, MTech 2 body work. We have the uh, free forms from Koenig. Uh, super light. Super rad, love these wheels. Um, they come in all the sizing I need for 5 on 120 because I didn't want to convert. So that turned out pretty sick. Uh, we use the Z32 like S chassis and Z32 brakes actually on our BMW. Uh, they make an adapter kit for them. So they work out pretty well. Big four piston in the front, two piston in the rear. We'll go to the inside. We took this car top to bottom, gutted it, stripped it and built it in three months. So it was a mad dash to get it done. Uh, had the whole car painted in red, of course, the only color to do it. And everything's uh, Sparco gear on the inside, seats, belts, uh, suit, wheel, all that good stuff. A nameless handbrake, uh, Nameless's new laydown, um, their new billet bracket, all that good stuff. Got my logo etched in, it's pretty rad. Yeah, Link Engine Management, uh, Link Dash, Link PDM, Link ECU, all that good stuff. And then you kind of come to back here and it's uh, all radium uh, fuel setup. So we have a radium fuel cell surge tank and their six gallon cell. We run four uh, Walbro 450s in the tank, uh, one for pickup, two to feed the motor and then a spare. So plenty of fueling. We have their, uh, their billet fuel filter, um, all their lines, all that good stuff. Their catch cans, radium, awesome stuff. Uh, dry brake, uh, quick fill right here for the fuel drums. So the rear of the car is super simple. Uh, obviously on these drift cars, everything's cut out because we like to crush the corners in. So like to give us plenty of room to, to smash and uh, like to keep this area open. So rear mounted radiator, but it's tucked up under the sill um, as far forward as we can get it. So it's out of harm's way. Uh, we keep the radiator in the back for weight distribution, better cooling, get more water in the car. And we dump all the hot air out the back and keep the engine temps uh, down as low as possible. So. Um, yeah, everything's basically mounted in the rear seat, so we have no rear overhang, so it makes the car really nice to drive and super balanced. So uh, we built this car with 10 years of knowledge and 10 years of stuff that I always wanted to do to the S13, but never did. So it was nice to build a car with like a plan in mind with all the things I did wrong on the S13. So it turned out super awesome in the car, the car shreds. Obviously, like I said, all the drivetrains from the S13, so we have the typical uh, G-Force dog box, winner's quick change setup in the car. It's good for about 1,000 foot-pounds of torque uh, or more, uh, which is super awesome. Um, yeah, we built it out with a tilt and pedal box. Uh, we got a Woodward column and uh, the big uh, the Link 10-inch uh, dash with their PDM, so we have a mass, uh, massive dash display in the car, which is awesome for reading all our data. And uh, yeah. Super simple, super clean. Try not to smash it into stuff too much, but uh, you know, it always happens. So yeah guys, this is my uh, brand new E46 M3. And um, I'm pumped to be driving it this year. It is leaps and bounds better than my S13. And um, just a way better, more balanced car. So thank you guys for checking it out. I appreciate all the support and we will catch you later.